Hi there, it's Mariella. Here's another one of the five minute letter series. Normally I only share these with my newsletter community, but I wanted to share a few of the most popular ones with you here on the podcast. This is one that's called any perfectionists in the room. Welcome to Productive Introvert Community Podcast. I'm Mariella and I support introverted solopreneurs in developing healthy habits so that they have the energy to work on their goals without daily routines that feel forced or only last two weeks. I'm writing to you from my couch today. It's 12.30 p.m. and I'm done working after this email. And celebrating that my new website is up and running. Also, there are at least 10 things I still wanna change. It wasn't too long ago that any one of these 10 things would have stopped me from publishing the website. It's not finished yet. The blog section only has one article. Uh, you know, I need to have at least three on there. Also, the background of the blog, it needs to be white. Any perfectionists in the room? Raise your hand. Fun fact, my website, thefrankermessage.com, was originally supposed to be a portfolio blog. Back when I was a researcher and aspiring writer, I bought the domain name for that purpose. I figured that I could neatly use my last name, Franker, which is a German name, and a native German speaker told me that it means something along the lines of free, courageous, and open-hearted. Has a nice ring to it. <laughs> So the Franker message would be my open-hearted message to the world. A blog site where I could write anything that sparked my interest. Very poetic, right? I wrote article after article, well-researched and greatly detailed. The topics were very varied. I wrote about our trip to Iceland, where we spent our honeymoon, and it being one of the most alienating and simultaneously most humbling experiences of my life. I wrote a three-part series about sleep and the question that boggled me, why some people need nine hours of sleep and are still tired, while others get by on five refreshing hours. You won't find any of these articles though, because I never published them. They're safely tucked away in my digital graveyard on a dusty hard drive somewhere. I don't even remember where. Why did I never publish them? Some of them were 70% finished, but all of them were not quite good enough. My perfectionism held me back for a long time and it fueled my inner critic. Never good enough, never quite ready to take action. I know now that it really wasn't so strange that I felt glued to the ground around my blog back then. Everywhere I looked, people kept saying, just get clear on what you want and then just do it. What's often overlooked is what gaining clarity about something really looks like. Gaining clarity isn't always about designing a detailed plan. It isn't always about knowing steps one through 10 before you start. It can be for some, but it isn't for most. Introverts have a different process when it comes to making decisions and taking action. Just do it, as catchy of a slogan it is, and although well-meaning advice can cause more anxiety than real progress for a lot of introverts, myself included. What's important for you to take action depends on your natural advantage. And knowing what your natural advantage is and what you need to take action without forcing yourself goes a long way to shedding those perfectionistic tendencies while still feeling confident about your next step. Well, most of them. <laughs> so X number of things still to change. My new website, thefrankermessage.com is up. Well, version 1.0 that is. If you like this super short episode, like this video, and if you want more of this, but then in a written form, sign up for my mailing list for weekly insights about what introverts really need to thrive in their own way. Thank you for hanging out with me today and let's talk again next week. Thank you for listening to the Productive Introvert Community Podcast. If you're an introverted entrepreneur and you're ready to thrive in your own way, then connect with me on thefrankermessage.com slash contact.